race one. Ready. And there they go, and flying out wide here would have been De Blonde along there with Spirit, and Nathan's also going up just in behind. We go to Pico, Pico Dawn, the inside there for Naharis, wide on the track is Big Time Conrad, also back is Judge Me Jack, he's got a bit of work to do with Blackish, and also African Violet goes back, they swing for home, Naharis got to the lead out wide, De Blonde bounces up again, but Naharis will get there from De Blonde, then we go to a Judge Me Jackie, I think will just get through for third ahead of Spirit of Nathan, Pico, Pico Dawn. Uh, in behind Pico, Pico, Dawn, we would have had uh, African Violet. And also finding a bit of trouble there was uh, Blackish towards the back of the field. The one that was out wide off the track was big time Conrad. World Lua comes round ready and there they go and uh, jumping Bessie would have been big time swift along there with Rowdy Ruby and now charging around the outside crackle who's John Gold also looking to get into it and there's Blitzing RB gets a lovely run through and goes through to the lead now back in the field is Corborn Gibbo out the back now big time swift got to shuffle with Homebush Demi and Killer Frost up they come and away goes Blitzing RB will get there okay from Crackle's got into second ahead there of uh, Rowdy Ruby now fourth is close we've got uh, big time swift who's John Gold nothing in that uh, in behind, who's John Galt? We would have had uh, Corborn uh, Gibbo. And uh, Killer Frost was also back in the last two or three. And Homebus Demi, where did she get back to? She was back there towards the end as well. Sprint, ready. And there they go, and the favourite went up with the lids and was out last. Jumping best out wide here would have been Ziggy Attack, but there goes Tyson's Quest, going to pour it on. Goes to the lead now from Ziggy Attack. Around the outside, Rocky Top also at the struggle, making up some ground. Homebush Gracie back there. We go to lunch. Special's got back in the field. Blackport down and Lucha, but up they come, and away goes Tyson Quest. Turns up this week, gets the win from Ziggy Attack. Then we go to Atlas Shrugged. Now, fourth is very close. We've got uh, Homebush Gracie on the inside lunch special got home when it was all over but uh, lost it at the start and then we go back on crossing to uh, Blackfoot down was also back and uh, Lucha didn't get the jump today also back there in the last uh, couple Rocky Top was just up ahead of them. Set to go, ready. And there they go, and uh, coming out best into track here would have been Dream K, but there goes Wine Bar is going to burn them off and go to the lead. The inside here to Midsummer Magic gets a lovely run through. A couple back to a big time Kate around the outside. World Freak Show not too far away. Our home was Clint back in the field now with big time William down the back. They go Wine Vara sets him up in front. Dream K is right there. Two or three back here we go to a Midsummer Magic trying to run into it along there with big time Kate just on the inside to World Freak Show. They go for home center track. Dream K's got to the lead. Wine Vara trying to come back, but uh, Dream K will get the win, charging home. World Freak Show will get up and get second ahead of, I think, Wine Vara. It's got a big race. Here we go to but Midsummer Magic. Uh, in behind Midsummer Magic, we would have had uh, Big Time Kate. And towards the back of the field, Homebush Clint and Big Time William. favourite is Amy Amy ready and there they go and the jumping best the inside would have been fancy for feeder but there goes Opawa Harry's going to burn them off and goes to the lead now well wonder coming into trouble there that was Thomas Williams so he's out of the contest so let's get back to the leader Opawa Harry away by two or three on fancy for feeder Millie Rivers gets through for third along there with the homebush Myra around the outside Amy Amy break back in the field to big time Wayno and also making up a bit of ground now is a Thomas William and back there secret Rory they come to the corner Opawa Harry travels okay but starting to get a bit tired here comes fancy for feeder over the top for Morris and Fancy Fafita is going to get up and beat Opawa Harry. Then we go to Millie Rivers. Amy Amy has got through for fourth just ahead of Opawa Myra. And back here we go to uh, big time. Wayno Thomas William found trouble going into that uh, first corner. And uh, Secret Rory 
also Will back in the field. Fancy for feet up. Race six ready. And racing, stepping best us into track. Here would have been Wairo Wolf and now driving up the inside. Big time Owen going between runners. Wong for the rest of the inside. That's the last man alive. Or trouble there. Last man alive going back in the field. And also going back now is Homeboy Fruity. Let's get back to the leader. Wairo Wolf gets away. Three or four. Here comes Scott. The looks coming out after it. Break back as we go to uh, Idle Patches. Just in behind the big time Owen. A couple back to Opawa Vegan. Just in behind that. We go to Homeboy Fruity. They go for home. Still in front. Wairo Wolf getting to the outside. Scott. The looks is trying hard. But Wairo Wolf. Wolf will get there from Scott the looks. Here we go here too. Uh, we had uh, idle patches. I think we'll hold down third. Fourth is close between big time Owen and Opawa Vegan. And then we go back here to a Homebush Fluty. Wong for the rest was just up ahead of that. And last man alive um, is over by the lure. And may have just uh, pulled up. there, ready. And there they go, and uh, first to hit the ground here would have been Blue Position's going to go straight to the lead now from Big Time Swift and trying to get around the outside as Idle Tom the Roll opens up for Big Time Reddo. Break back in the field to Rocky McAwesome, Carefree Highway gets back there with Chase Me Apache, and also back as Opawa Mine. Down the back they go, and Idle Tom will burn off Blue Position going into that final bend. Then we go to Big Time Sam, just in behind we go to uh, Big Time Reddo. Break back in the field to Rocky McAwesome, trying to run on his Carefree Highway. They go for home, Idle Tom travels well, trying hard, Big Time Sam, but Idle Tom will get there from Big Time Sand. Then we go to Big Time Redo just ahead of Opawa Mine. A blue position got tied. Then we go to Carefree Highway. Back in the field, Chase Me Apache and Rocky McAwesome. Bit of a charges round. Ready. And there they go, and it jumped out well too, big time. Tyson it crashed into a couple, comes across now, but going ahead of it, Pepper's Choice. Getting a good runner from the inside is Charlie Bobo along there with Bark Knopfler. A wider here on the track has Scott to go, just in behind Opawa Minstrel, and what is your mozzle? Out the back is Forever and Ever. Down the back they go, big time Tyson gets to the lead, puts three or four on Pepper's Choice around the outside, now getting up underneath them is Bark Knopfler. Just in behind, here we go to Scott to go out wider, Charlie Bobo. Not far away is what is your mozzle and Opawa Minstrel, but up they come, the money right, and big time Tyson right away we'll get this okay from Bark Knopfler then we go here to uh, Pepper's Choice has gone a good race it's stuck on for third ahead there of Wallace Mozzle then we go to uh, Charlie Bobo and uh, just in behind that we would have had uh, Scott to go if I didn't call it was just up with them and Opala Minstrel was the one back and the one that was last <laughs> Six. Ready. And racing a bit slow there with Thrilling Eddie along there with Opawa Tigger. Jumping well the inside would have been Opawa Shiloh and charging up out wide and trying to get across him his secret agenda going forward. Now they break away on Thrilling Eddie's made a great recovery but ran into Dermot Brown. Then we go back here to Big Time Wild. Now getting back in the field Opawa Tigger along with Rocky's too much and Thrilling Cassie's out of it. Across the top they come. It's a two dog race. You've got Opawa Shiloh getting to the lead and will be tough. Two or three in front of secret agenda. Break big break back in the field to Thrilling Eddie looking to pick up again ahead of Big Time Wild but up they come and Parva Shiloh will get there from Secret Agenda. Gee, they both picked the jump well today. Then we go back to Thrilling Eddie, just in behind a big time wild. Then we had Opawa Tigger. And back towards the end uh, would have been Rocky's Too Much was back. And the other one back there was Thrilling Cassie. Didn't get into it, just up ahead of them, Dermot Brown.
charges round. Ready. And there they go, and flying out there would have been Zazuel is going to go straight to the lead, but here comes Big Time Forest around the outside to go past it. Just in behind we go to getting a run through was Buzzy Jim. Now they break away on Opawa line. Just in behind we go to Making Time. Out wide here to Black Rose Star. Back in the field is Curry Pie, and out the back is White Comet. Across the top they come, and Big Time Forest opens them up by about four or five. Zazuela holding down second. Break back in the field to Buzzy Jim. Getting around the outside is Opawa line. Also running on is Curry Pie. They go for home. Big Time uh, forecast getting tired, Forrest getting tired and lunging at it with Zazuela. Oh gee, this is very close. Nothing in this could be a dead heat. Uh, then we go here to Curry Pie. You're making time, just taking my eyes off that. That's the way they crossed anyway for third and fourth. And back in the field, uh, we would have had a Black Roadstar. Gee, this is very close. The fours had a dive at the eight, the eight on the inside. And also back towards the end, there was Buzzy Jim. comes round, race 11 ready and there they go and uh, stepping best the inside here would have been Cool Wolf but now going up is Shahalian around the outside and just in behind here we go too, uh, we had getting off the row Opawa Rooster but gets into about third ahead of Mischief Viking, then we go back to Howlin Ace, back in the field is Luke Skywalker also getting back is Big Time Madison down the back they go into Shahalian away in the lead by a couple, right there though is Cool Wolf looking to close and here comes Opawa Rooster, big strides into the race, three or four back here we go to by Mischief Viking hitting the rest is Howlin Ace, they go for home still in front Shahalian, the outside Opawa Rooster Dixon now, and Opawa Rooster gets up to beat, or possibly uh, Shahalia maybe just holding second from this Jeff Viking, that's close, here we go two uh, just in behind uh, would have been uh, Howlin' Ace uh, Luke Skywalker, and big time Madison Race number 12, first leg of the quaddy. Good luck, ready. And there they go, and jumping nicely centre track here is Bonus Lotto also driving up on the inside is Dinah Bevelin and Corborn Toddy looking to get a run through. Wider here on the track is Soft Gambler, very wide. Then we go back here to Bonus Lotto. Corborn Bryce gets back with Corborn Muzzer and dropping off is Corborn Jazzy. Down the back they go, Erasmus opens them up a couple, but here comes Soft Gambler around the outside. Break back in the field to Corborn Toddy. Dinah Bevelin also looking to get around the outside. Then we go back here to Corborn Muzzer. Break back in the field to Bonus Lotto. They go for home. Soft Gambler took over and will come away here to beat Erasmus. I think Dinah Bevelin just got third ahead of Corborn Toddy, Corborn Muzza. Then we go to Bonus Lotto. Corborn Bryson dropping off there was Corborn Jazzy but gets around to the lure. Make 13. Ready. And racing flying out there would have been Nick's Fab along there without wide retail mayhem also showing a good beginning trying to drive up on the inside is Idle Hider not too far away is Bubbler Max is behind we go to but Jane Baxter Scott tied up getting up on the inside back here we go to Tiger Upper Cutter and Hanover stayed up they come Nick's Fab the inside the outside Idle Hot drives oh very close here Idle Hot and a photo there with Nick's Fab nothing in that then we go to retail mayhem Bubbler Max just behind them uh, then on crossing and behind Bubbler Max uh, we would have had uh, Jane Baxter also back with Scott. Scott tied up just getting past that and back towards the end. Tiger uppercut and Hanover State. Fourteen. Ready. And there they go, and off the inside here, Acra jumped out well along there with Opawa Crusade around the outside, big time Momo, and now's Apprentice also looking to scout into it, uh, finding a bit of trouble there was Lip It Up, Opawa Crusade also getting a bit of a shuffle with Manhattan style and big time forecast, they go for home in front, Barndor Billy's got through out wide, Alza Apprentice charges, oh I think Barndor Billy just from Alza Apprentice and Gee, not too far away there was Acra, and you wouldn't believe it, big time forecast, he's ran into the back of the dogs again. Uh, going into that to finish line. 
And it's just in behind Big Time Forecast, not far away, Opava Crusade, lip it up towards the back of the field. Ready. And racing in the last off the inside here. Rosie's jumped out well along here with Loco Amigo showing good speed and now looking to go between them is Tammy's Fire. Also getting into it there is Let's Go Spite but found trouble getting pushed out wide. Hungry Machine back there we go to Idle Billy also getting back now. We've got uh, there Rosie along with uh, Paris Global up they come and driving the inside Tammy's Fire. Tammy's Fire will get this from Loco Amigo. Let's Go Sprite. And uh, getting up before there would have been Hungry Machine uh, not too far away on crossing. Uh, we would have had I know where did that uh, get to that was going up there but just got shunted out in that first uh, corner and also back would have been Rosie. Mm -hmm. 